Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Facebook lookalike audiences and how powerful they can be for your business. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Hope everyone is doing well. Today's video is just basically about Facebook advertising and the Facebook lookalike audiences. And basically, if you aren't familiar with them or if you do have a lot of experience with this topic, this video will be good for you either way. It does not matter. Do you know what a Facebook lookalike audience is? Do you? Because we do, and we have a lot of experience using them. So just some brief uh, insight about them. A Facebook lookalike audience is basically a bigger audience of a custom audience. Let me talk a little bit about the custom audience before I even talk about the lookalike. So a custom audience is basically a group of people who have either visited your website, who have made an action on your website, someone who's interacted with your ad or watched a certain, certain percentage of your ad, and it's essentially a, a cluster of people within that group, right? You have everyone in that group, and it specifically gathers all those customers' information and puts it into one bracket. Now, a lookalike audience, what is that? I'm gonna be talking about that right now. So basically, a lookalike audience is a reflection of your custom audience, but just on a way, way broader scale. So let's say you have an audience of a thousand people who purchase something on your website. Now, what Facebook is gonna do, it's literally going to like duplicate that audience and find a million to like 10 million people that are very similar to that group of people. When you use your lookalike audiences on your Facebook account, this will be a great time for you guys to be scaling because they are literally a gold mine for when you wanna make more money, obviously, right? These audiences are very powerful and they're something that could really, really do very good for your brand. You cannot start these lookalike audiences off the bat because number one, you need to have a custom audience first that has a big enough audience within there. So what I mean by that is, let's say, you only have 50 people who've bought something on your website and you wanna make an audience of 50 people. You can't do that because you need at least 100 people in the specific country that have performed that action. If you wanted to go ahead and make a video view look alike or a custom uh, audience, you could do that because it's much easier to get video views than it is to get purchases, obviously, right? Especially for three seconds, right? I have a video ad, whatever the case is, you get three seconds within two, three days, you're gonna have at least a couple of thousand for sure, if not 10,000, 20,000 video views, right? If you're spending a lot of money, of course, so they're a decent amount. Now, when you guys do get the chance to use lookalike audiences, these are the main ones that you wanna be focusing on, okay? And we have it highlighted here in our doc. You wanna be using view content, add to carts, initiate checkouts, and purchases. Now, why do we use those lookalikes? Why would we rather use those versus other ones? In this specific case, if you're just taking a product from zero to a thousand dollars or ten thousand to ten thousand dollars, these are the lookalikes you're going to be want to be using because they're actually very easy to attain. Now, view content is literally just something that when someone goes on your website and they view the actual page, like the landing page, that would be a view content because they're actually viewing what you have on there. Okay. So that would trigger as literally one person. So if you get a hundred view uh, people going to your website a day, um, you'd essentially have a hundred view content. Add to cart lookalike. So your add to cart would essentially, every time someone adds something to cart, that would count as one person adding to cart. So that would attribute to your audience, which you could eventually make it look like audience of, right? Same thing with initiate checkouts. One person initiates a checkout on your website. Eventually you have enough, you can make a look like audience out of it. Same thing goes for purchases. Um, I did talk about the 95% um, view. So pe basically this is just a percentage of the amount of people that watch your ad. So if you have 10,000 views on one of your ads, essentially the 95% custom audience would take the people that have watched 95% of your video into account. So now Corey's gonna be talking about how and why they are created and some of the strategies you guys could use to implement them into your business. All right, guys, what's popping? So as Anthony covered, uh, he basically covered what lookalikes are. I want to stress how important they are, just basically why you should be running them and then when you should be and a few common questions that we get all the time from experienced people, from brand new people, et cetera, et cetera. So when you have your pixel connected to your store through Shopify and it's tracking all those events and then you go and create your custom audience, once it's populated, which usually takes a few days, you can go and create that lookalike and you can create these lookalikes as you see here in certain percent percentages um, with 1% being those who most closely match your source. So for example, if you take your 1000 people that bought your product and then you create a 1% look like audience to USA, that 1% audience is going to be like the closest relativity of people who bought your product and like who future people could be. So 
essentially like the highest relevance. As you go on from two to three all the way to 10, it gets a little bit less relevant, but that's not to say it can't work. Like for, for some reason you could test like 7% and it could easily outperform 1%, but usually 1% is the best. I'll cover that in a sec. Moving on to when you should use them really. Um, there's no exact rules to Facebook ads, Google ads, etc. There's no exact rules ever. There's never just this, this set number that you can just follow and apply and you're, you're golden. Uh, but typically after your first seven to 14 days, if you're running a low budget like testing strategy, as long as you're somewhat profitable, um, you can start creating your custom audiences and lookalikes. Of course, retargeting as well. We'll cover that in a future video. But for lookalikes, I would say after a week or two, again, it's always case by case. So say you have 1500 view content and your product's just super unprofitable. It's not working. Maybe wait till 3K. Maybe things will turn around and start doing better. Um, and then you can start running your lookalikes because there aren't because they aren't super magical. You're not just gonna start running these and right away take a product that's doing terrible and turn it into like a gold mine, just like straight profits. It's very, very unlikely that will happen. It does happen now and then, but it's not like a, tr it's not like proven to do that. It's just like kind of like fluky, if you ask me. And just covering some common questions we hear a lot. Uh, this video is kind of like an introductory, like kind of gateway video to our Facebook ad course that will be launching around like the Black Friday time. Uh, but just for this video, we got a lot of common questions in our inbox about lookalikes. So I kind of want to just cover a couple right now real quick. So the first question that we get all the time is, can I use lookalikes from a different product on a new one if it's in the same niche? Uh, and there is no yes or no answer to that. So say for example, you are in the pet niche and you sold a dog brush, for example, and now you're selling a cat bowl, then obviously you can't do that. And as, as obvious as that may sound, a lot of people do try forcing it and they'll launch a brand new cat product using da dog data and expect it to work when that's just not the case. This is not how it works. Um, if say for example, you sold that dog brush and now you're selling a dog water bottle or a dog, uh, whatever, whatever, then maybe like I encourage you to try it. Don't expect anything to work, but obviously try it. Don't just like eliminate it, but try it. I don't think it would work personally. Like usually it's product per product basis. Uh, so you kind of have to start from ground B again. That's not a big deal. It shouldn't really be a big deal. If you're using the same pixel, your data will still be like seasoned. Uh, so you should be good to go from there. Um, people always ask us too how many events they should have for a certain event before making a lookalike. Uh, again, it's case by case like I was saying. If you are booming and you're making tons of profits from the start with your cold targeting, then as soon as you have like a thousand view contents, start going at it. As soon as you have like 300 to 500 added cards, just start running them and they should all pick up very fast too. Uh, but if it's going a bit slower for you, you're break even, you um, are unprofitable, don't be afraid to wait a week or two longer. Sometimes just giving things time, especially with Google ads, I uh, can really just work out for you. So just, you know, don't be so impatient and cut things after two days. I promise you, if you like put your trust in the Zuck and let him do his thing, uh, things can work out for you. Uh, another huge one all the time, and I've kind of already covered this, um, but will lookalikes be profitable 100% of the time? And what is the best lookalike? Are ones that we get all the time we hear it. You probably heard it before. You've probably been asked it before. You probably asked it yourself. And it's fine. It's normal. It makes sense. But there is no just like building block to this whole, I guess you could say Facebook ad science. There is no building block that just like works. Uh, you always have to be like a, like a crazy scientist, kind of like Alex Becker, who just crazy. You just got to test every, every audience, every angle, um, you know, every ad copy you can to see what works best for your business. Some people have their, you know, their best luck with like an add to cart 8% random lookalike. Uh, and then some people like me, that like just like the purchase 1% just always works best. Um, it, it always, always varies. Another huge one, which we already covered too, which like, how do you structure lookalikes? Again, like 1% is always one that you should never exclude. You should always have that 1% in there. It's never really an option to like avoid 1%. Um, as you make your way down the ladder, I guess like starting with the first top 5%, so one to 5% structured nicely is fine until you have like tons of data. And one to five is really all you really need. Like one to 3% is like all you actually really need to start hitting 10K a day. Like past that is, you know, if you're targeting audiences that are 20 million in size, um, and your 1% isn't working and you want like your 8% to work because it's just much bigger. Um, hypothetically, it could work like, in theory, but I wouldn't like expect that to work that way. Like don't like go into, um, don't go into your ad campaign thinking that. And that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. If, if you have questions about lookalikes, if you have a certain campaign running right now and you're kind of confused, feel free to hop in our Discord. It's something we've had for a while now. I'm gonna link it in the description and make sure that everyone that has questions gets them answered because 
Um, it is sometimes it is kind of hard to hop on Google and find a certain answer to a question if it's really complex. Like obviously Google can't do that for you, but obviously the basics are there. But if you have if you have a complex question or a certain situation you're in, feel free to hit us up. We're always here to talk. We have over 100 people in the group too, so they always chat it up. Um, and yeah, guys, cheers. We'll see you in the next video.